So every cosine has to be sine. I'm sorry, I, I made a very terrible mistake. Yeah, yeah. And the reason why this is cosine, this has to be sine. The reason why we have the cosine instead of sine is, is, is why, why? Because the velocity has to be continuous. Velocity in x direction has to be continuous. OK? That is related with the sine theta. OK? A cosine theta, sorry. Cosine sine. This is sine, right? So you did, you got a, more than 85 score in the midterm examination. That means the, our examination was designed very strangely, right? Okay. Actually, who got more than 85? You? You? And you didn't recognize what I made mistake over here? Okay, I apologize that it has to be signed, okay? Sorry about that. Okay. This is because we ask requires velocity continuity in x direction. And question was, what if I have incident angle that is greater than theta critical? If theta zero, if theta zero is greater than theta critical, what will happen? Then, sine theta zero is this length, Okay, and we could say the theta one is obviously should be less than pi over two. Always, right? But it is not possible to get this angle, right? So. I could write, there is a, some imaginary angle but in some sense that is smaller than pi over 2, in some sense. That's why I put the minus instead of plus. Okay? That means what? For transmitted wave that we can write that has a magnitude, okay, and that is propagating right, and a KT vector has two components in x and y direction, okay? What component do we have in x direction? That is k1, that is the wave number in medium 1. And in x direction, how the wave number would be? Would be what? Yonghua. What is the wave number in x direction? K1 cosine, sine, cosine. Can I issue your examination result again so I will recheck it? <laughs> K1 
cosine theta 1. And I denote Ex is the unit vector in x direction, OK? And then I can write another wave number vector in y direction like this. This is sine theta 1, right? And because theta 1 is pi over 2 minus j, j beta, then that means I have in x direction, e x direction, I have cosine pi over 2 minus j beta k1. And that is what? K1. What is this? Yonghua? <laughs> we have to reduce his score, right? If you all agree, then we can do it so that we have a better distribution. Indra, what is this? This one. This one is cosine pi over 2 cosine j beta plus k1 sine pi over 2 sine j beta. OK? Right. Huh? And this is 0. What is this? What is the sign j beta? Huh? Nobody knows? So which school you guys graduate? <laughs> Hyperbole? Okay, what a, we, will, we will have another sine theta one that has a sine pi over 2 minus j beta. Okay, I strongly suggest to you to look at mass book. <laughs> and then what we will have, we will have j beta term or j beta term induces exponentially decaying term in y direction. Oh, no, 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 in x direction. In x direction. Therefore, what happened is there is an exponentially decaying wave in x direction. So the wave is confined in this boundary. It's exponentially decaying. Uh, but it's propagating in this direction that we called evanescent toy. Okay, what if we have this circle? This is the case when k1 is larger than k0. That means the c1 is smaller than c0. That means I am sending signal from water to air. In that case, this kind of behavior would not happen. But when I send signal from water, uh, from air to the water, it is possible to make a evanescent wave, in other words, surface wave on, on x equal zero surface. Okay? So the, the key idea, and then the, key, the, the key concept we learn is, first, even if we have we will have the transmission loss, which is same as the transmission loss we obtained for normal instance. 